okay you want to learn vba i'll make it easy for you first of all i would like to say thanks to everyone for subscribing my channel and giving lot of likes on my youtube videos so this is my second video on vba and you will like it and you will definitely learn something uh, new from out of this please like subscribe and share and press the bell icon for the latest video notification so in this video we are going to learn three things the first is what is option explicit as you know i have already touched upon that topic in my last video but we will discuss about in detail what is option explicit why we use it in the second topic we are going to discuss what is variable and my third topic will be on the data types in vba so i'll explain you each a topic with the sample code and that can be downloaded from the description below i will provide you the link of the file which we have used in this particular video i hope you will like it and definitely you are going to learn new things out of my video so let's discuss about what is option explicit and why we use it once you write the option explicit on the top of your code in that case it will always keep checking whether you have declared the variable or defined it in the code or not so as i told you option explicit is a good practice so always try to include option explicit before you start the code if you are using any of the variable which is not defined into the code in that case the compiler will give you an error while you will run the code so i think everybody has got a fair idea what is option explicit now i will show you how to use option explicit in the code guys it's time to code now click on the developer tab click on visual basic editor once the ide window open try to insert a module now module is appearing and as you can see option explicit is automatically appeared on the screen we have not written it so how to get this automatically click on the tool menu now go down click on option this dialog box appeared and the second option you have to uncheck say okay if you will uncheck this in that case option explicit will not come automatically so always remember option explicit is a good practice as i told you in my video now as you can see i have removed the module and inserted module again and this time it is not appearing so always keep the option explicit checkbox checked in the option menu now i will give you an example how to use uh, option explicit into the code click on the developer tab and click on insert and select a button and draw a button onto the worksheet so once you will draw the button it will ask you to choose or assign the macro in that case you can write here new code and click on new now as you can see the new module has been generated then with the name of new code first of all as i told you always write ex option explicit before starting any of the code as we are doing it now so the second statement what i am going to write it is dim first num as integer as you can see i have declared a variable called first num as an integer now i am going to assign a value to first num so first num equal to 25 now range i'm going to select where i'm going to place this value in the sheet that is a1 dot value equal to first num but i have not written first num completely intentionally i have written first n u in that case it should give an error so i will show you how the error will come so before that i will just rename the button now let's try to run the code 
if you click on button as you can see it is throwing an error and saying compiler error variable not defined why we are getting this uh, error because we have written option explicit and first nu is not a variable which we have defined we have defined it as in first num so let me do some tweak here uh, let me comment on the option explicit and now try to run this code see now it is not throwing any error why because it is not checking out what kind of variable we have defined or what kind of variable we are using so that is the reason we should use option explicit always in the code so now i'll make it correct just remove the comment from the option explicit and try to make it correct as in num i'll write the complete variable name so now your program is correct if you try to run this see now it is getting the output right as you have seen option explicit in the uses and the code now let's move to the next section of this video that is variable in today's video we will discuss about how to declare a variable how to define it and how to initialize it and how we can use this variable into our day-to-day -day codes variable is nothing variable is just a container to store any kind of information if you are a programmer in that case you will have to deal with a lot of data and data could be in any shape or format you have to define a variable to store a particular data into your code so that is something called a variable let's see how we can define and declare it once you define the variable system understood this variable into three sections so what are these three sections for a particular variable if you have defined something dim x as integer in that case system will understood into three parts the first part will be the name part name means dim x you are defining a variable that is name with x and the second part will be the value part mean you are going to assign a value to that variable that is the declaration x is equal to 25 the third part is the address part means that is something system will automatically define this is the specific area where this 25 will get stored means while you are running this code and you want to retrieve this data again in that case system will go to that particular address which is into binary format and fetch the value and the value is 25 i hope it is clear to you if you still have any doubts regarding variable you can put your queries into the comment section i will definitely get back to you on this okay now i will show you how to declare a variable and there are few things you always keep in mind before you declaring a variable like in this example i am going to declare a variable name my name as a string which can contain the name of with the user now i will try to again uh, define this dim my space name as integer it is throwing in compiler error why because any of the variable whenever you are defining maybe it's string or maybe it's something else you cannot give space between the name it should be always in the continuous form now my dot name if you will try in that case also it will throw you an error means you cannot use any of the special character in the name of the variable so like i have tried to use add also in that case it will also throw you an error that is the compile error which is throwing so always keep in mind you cannot use any of the variable which is starting the digit it should always be starting with the character but yes if you want to use digit that can be used in the end of the variable maybe it is uh, my name one two three but it cannot be dim one two three my name so this is the right practice when you define and declare the variable always keep in mind okay one thing which we have not touched upon that is constant variable so let me tell you what is constant variable in constant variable is something which will never get changed uh, from the starting until it, the program is executed the value will remain same how to define that you have to write const 
age as an integer not like uh, earlier we have defined like dim age as integer in that case you will have to assign a value in the starting of the variable and uh, that will be fixed for the entire program till the time your program is running now it's time to discuss about data types there are 13 types of data type available in vba so i'll explain you one by one so first is the integer integer contains the number and the second is long integer that also contains the number but if you want to deal with big number you will be using long integer after that we have single and double that is also kind of a data types which store numbers so currency is something when you are dealing with a specific currency maybe you are uh, calculating a report in dollar or you are calculating a report in rupees or pound or any other currency in that case also you will have to define the value which can be stored into a particular currency uh, that is the data type called currency Sometimes we need to deal with the dates. In that case, we have the data type called date. That can be used for storing the date and calculating the date. Now let's talk about string variable. String variable is nothing. It's just to store any character or any specific name. If you want to deal with object, in that case, you will have to define variable as an object data type. I can give you an example of object. Object is something called uh, like calendar. So let's talk about boolean. So boolean is something when you want to store as in data true or false. Variant is kind of a data type which can store anything. When you want to deal with a decimal number, in that case you will be using decimal as in data type while you are declaring a variable. And the last one is nothing just a byte want to store something 0 to 255 that can be used for a byte it's the smallest uh, variable data type which can be used uh, to store a smallest number how to use these data type into your program in the previous example we have seen how to declare a variable now i will show you how you can use the data types uh, with the variable once you are specific about the data what kind of data you are going to store into the variable you have to define like this uh, like i can show you dim x as integer so that will contain the number value dim y as long if uh, you are taking it as long that you can contain the longest number that is the biggest number as compared to integer and the string can contain the any of the character and boolean is used for true and false and byte is the single byte variable and date could be used for uh, storing the date or uh, calculating with the dates and dim d as currency uh, currency can contain uh, the data as in currency and dim r dim e as double so that's it for today's video and please stay connected thanks a lot